Well, let's just say uh, at the very beginning of this, this has been a long, a complex, a harrowing trial. And some of the details that I am about to talk about in the next few minutes or so are incredibly distressing and could be triggering for some people. This has been uh, more than two months in the making and in the last few minutes the jury returning verdicts on a number of people who've been standing accused of taking part in what was described a monstrous child sex abuse ring here in Glasgow and operating over the course of more than 10 years. Uh, in the end, seven people were found guilty of 11 who stood trial here uh, of what was pretty grotesque crimes altogether. We are talking here uh, about a situation where the jury heard evidence that children were forced to sexually abuse one another. Uh, where a gang of people stood around while children were raped uh, over and over again uh, on organised nights. And this was a situation that was harrowing for the children who had to recall the testimony, recall the ordeal that they went over on an organised uh, level. Uh, and I have to say, we have sat through a number of days of this trial and the accused have sat in the dock uh, they have been laughing and joking. They have been sighing at times as well uh, around some of the uh, evidence that was heard. And some people have been suggesting and accusing uh, the children who were very young, primary school age, of lying in their accounts. The, uh, the bar was very high here in terms of the stakes and the evidence was very, very detailed. Uh, this was a situation and an operation that was running within a heroin den in the north of Glasgow where heroin addicts would come along to that property and they would... Uh, uh, inflict the most heinous of crimes, the most heinous of child sexual abuse. Uh, and here we have the jury, having listened to all of the evidence, has returned those uh, verdicts today. Seven people will be going to prison for a very, very long time for what was described as monstrous crimes. OK, Connor, thanks very much for bringing us the latest on that.